What's going down, my fellow YouTube viewers? I'm back at it again with that review. I have promised you guys this is the DC Films Superman, and that here is the Mesco KO Superman. Now, from other videos I've seen, I put out the KO because one, I could, this, that's all I could afford to really give it a review for you guys, but he's pretty close to the original. It's just, again, KOs are necessarily a whole different type of material. No, no, no. It's the same figure, but assembled from broken other other parts that were broken. That's basically what it is, to be honest with you. Okay. Now, as you can see, this Superman here is a bit taller, just by a few inches. He doesn't look like it on camera, but uh, I don't know if you can see that. He is a little bigger, bulkier looking figure. That's the comparison I want to give. It's starting off with that. Um, in terms of articulation, this guy is going to get you the most you want out of articulation. A ton. Just look at all the joints that you can see are movable. They are literally movable. Everything. There's not one part that doesn't go to waste on this figure. Even a good ab crunch you get out of this guy. This one, he's very much hindered. You get him a little forward. You get these arms out a little. Out to the side like that. Where it really kills him is the legs. It's just, oh, good lord, he is stuck. You'll get a little split. So the cloth itself, it, it hinders his articulation. The cape looks like crap. It's very cheap. And I think that's on the original one as well. It looks like something I can make myself. This one, it's just so beautiful. You know, it drops down. And when you have him in a flying pose, he looks so godlike. It's a very beautiful piece, this guy, you know. I mean, uh, this one stands out. It really does. The colors are more vibrant when it comes to the, the Mesco. He really pops out in color. And the face does look a little more like Henry Cavill. You got John Travolta over here. So, I don't know. What if? But, if you guys had to choose, I would definitely go with the DC Films version. This one does come with all the pieces. They interchangeable hands, heads, okay. He has the same thing, except no cloth goods, except for the cape. And it's bendy wire. So that's my review, guys. Quick little thing I just wanted to share with you. Again, I recommend the DC Films figurine. It's really nice. The the S in it stands out a bit more, too. This one's pretty nice, but this one stands out a lot better. Uh, take care, guys, and uh, keep collecting.